Good evening, Scott Nias, Chardon Police Department, uh, NIE, HUS. Chardon Police Department was alerted that TJ Lane and two other inmates had escaped from the Allen Correctional Facility in Lima, Ohio uh, last evening. I can now confirm that we've heard from officials involved in this search that TJ Lane is now in custody. Uh, we have spoken with the warden directly as well as the uh, Peter Elliott, the U.S. Marshal assigned to this area. A manhunt had been initiated in Lima and the Chardon Police Department was immediately contacted by representatives of state, local, and federal law enforcement officials offering their manpower, resources, and support to us in order to ensure that our community remained uh, safe throughout this event. I was uh, immediately in contact with Dr. Hanlon and his staff, key members of his staff, uh, to ensure the ongoing safety of our schools. The Chardon Police Department will continue to demonstrate a visible presence in our schools and support the students, teachers, and staff as they prepare to return to school on Monday. Um, I'm going to pass my uh, comments now on to Chief Deputy Scott Hildebrand. Chief Deputy Scott Hildenbrand, H-I-L-D-E-N-B-R-A-N-D. <clears throat> Our office was notified by the, the Allen Oakwood Correctional uh, Institution of the escape of three inmates, one being T.J. Lane. We immediately contacted the victims, families of the Chardon school shooting, school officials, and other local law enforcement. We quickly worked closely with the state, federal, and local law enforcement to ensure the safety of our county residents. We closely monitored the search efforts via radio. We were able to monitor that right from here. And we are very happy with the outcome, the apprehension of TJ Lane, and want to thank all involved for the continued close working relationship that we all enjoy in this county. Michael Hanlon, Superintendent of Schools. Thank you all for being here this morning. Certainly the events of Thursday evening had a profound and very deep impact on our entire school community as evidenced by the immediate reactions here in the city of Chardon and on social media. On behalf of our Board of Education represented here this morning and our entire school community, I wish to extend our sincere appreciation to all levels of law enforcement across the state of Ohio for swift action, strong communication, and our school district and providing our school district with a positive outcome related to the events of Thursday evening. First and foremost, our thoughts and prayers go out today to the families of Demetrius, Russell, and Danny, and all others affected by the tragedy, as well as by the troubling events of Thursday evening. The last several hours have certainly been very difficult as we come to grips with these developments. Throughout Thursday evening and Friday morning, Chardon Local School District officials remained in contact with local law enforcement, the Governor's Office, and the Ohio Department of Education to closely monitor the developments of this situation. That working relationship has been instrumental in guiding our response to this situation. The safety and well-being of our students, staff, and community remain the highest priorities in our school district. While the individual is now back in custody, there has certainly been an undeniable, profound, and deep impact on our entire community. I want to ensure that students and staff have the opportunity to seek out the support that we all need at this time to aid in the healing process. All schools in the Chardon Local School District will be closed on Friday, September 12, 2014, in order that our students, staff, and community will have the opportunity to seek out the assistance that will be of most help to them. The school district will also provide as much social and emotional support for students, staff, and community as possible during this emotional time. Therefore, the Chardon High School and Chardon Middle School buildings will be open Friday with counseling and other support services available in each school building. Those seeking assistance or just simply wanting to talk are encouraged to come to either building tomorrow. Chardon High School principal, Andy Fetchick, will provide the details concerning these support services that will be available. Having now served as superintendent of schools for one year, it has quickly become apparent to me that Chardon remains a strong and resilient community 
that has rallied around each other before. And I'm confident that we will continue to do so now and into the future. Good morning. My name is Andy Fetchick. I'm the high school principal at Chardon High School, F-E-T-C-H-I-K. Um, again, I would like to reiterate our thanks on behalf of the high school to law enforcement for their quick and uh, speedy resolution to the situation. Tomorrow, as Dr. Hamlin said, there will not be uh, academic classes at the high school. However, we will be open for the community and students uh, from 10 o'clock to 3 o'clock at the high school and the middle school to provide support and, and any counseling that our students may need. Um, the doors will be open. Students are welcome to come in, and, and we encourage all students and staff, anyone that wants to reach out and talk. I'd also like to thank the community, um, the, the outpouring of support this, from social media and just phone calls has been, has been tremendous. Um, as we work through this together, I know, that, uh, I know that things will get better as they have before and will continue to be sharp and strong. Thank you.